GM everybody, it is super tight Woody. Today we are talking about the fourth song from my project called Living Room, which is an audio visual experience, 10 tracks, instrumentals, accompanied by visuals that I created as well. This fourth track is super chill and really set the precedent for the entire album. It is called Night Game. I don't know why I called it Night Game. When I created it, I just named it that and it stuck. It's like, it kind of reminds me of the movie Drive or something where you're just driving at night. The instrumentation and the different elements that go into this are fairly simple. Also just evoke the emotion that is supposed to in a very simple way. And so let's dive into it and check out the session and do some behind the scenes. So the first element of this track is this. And this is something that there's this knob right here. And if you pull it this direction, it gets, it cuts off some of the frequencies. Uh, it's hard to explain, but this is, this knob right here is magic. So where it was, right? But if you can turn it down and you get the little clickies, you can turn it up and it just gets bigger. Oh. So my thought when I created it initially, it was just that with some drums and a bass and it was very simple. And when I set out to make it an actual tangible track, a song with ebbs and flows into it, this button was a really important piece of the song because I automated it. So it moves throughout the song. So it starts, it starts off. And that really affects the mood of everything. Let me turn the automation back on. And so from there, that main instrument, then it just kicks right in with bass. So cool. And again, this sample that plays in the background is a chopped up, man manipulated to S-H-I-T sample. And this is what it sounds like. Nonsense, right? I really feel that the whole project is just, how can you add these weird textures behind it that add character to the song? So if you listen to this, right, uh, right here, it's cool, right? But if you take that weird textured element out, it's a completely different record and it's still cool, right? But you put it back in and to me, it just tingles those things in my brain that the synapses in my brain attaches to euphoric elements and it just evokes an emotion for me. It's really cool. And that's throughout the album, which I really love. So from there, then it's just some basic drums on top of it. I could probably just find the drums here. Simple. Almost like reggaeton vibes or something. And then on this little bridge part here, you can hear it in the background, but there the sample, the original first little chopped up sample, I pitched it down and turned it way down and put some reverb on it. And that's just in the background. But again, if I turn it off, different record right and that to me is just style man that's just style right there i love it also another element in this part which is fun is these little distorted that drake song 
find your love or whatever. Uh, it's, it's a distorted drum machine sound. And then I pitched up the main sound here, which is an octave higher. And then it goes back into this like bridge part, right? And here, I added a snare and I also added this like vocal. Hey! And it really, it just adds a lot of excitement to that part. So then it goes back in and then the last part is just all of the elements thus far in the track playing together as well as a more rapid hi-hat pattern. Yeah. So that's it. That's Night Game. The visuals for this record are really cool as well. I talked about driving earlier at night and that's what the visuals are. It's driving at night, and I tried to make the text glow in the way that I see it without wearing glasses at night, where the bright lights shift and distort and go different directions off of the main light. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I had such a great time making this project from these textures to the bass lines to everything. It's just been such a rewarding process for me to create this music. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoy creating it. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And thank you for your support. See you guys in the next one. Peace.